there were endless panel discussions when I was growing up as a poet, sort of, uh, what is the function of poetry? What is the function of literature? And um, then I learned um, that one of the great things, in fact, one of the driving forces of modern art generally was that art, including poetry, uh, had no function and was completely useless in a world that continually looked for everything and everybody to have a use. And uh, that, was, that was fine. And actually, I still resort to that every now and then. But I loved what, um, there was a, um, a poet, I think, from uh, Iraq uh, that was on National Public Radio uh, a couple of years ago, uh, reading his poems. And um, the interviewer asked him that question, but it was more Iraq-specific. It was, well, what function does poetry have in Iraq? And uh, he had gone to some lengths to point out that he and his friends didn't enjoy, or d refused, in fact, to write only poems about the terrible conditions of Iraq and war and so forth like that, that he wanted to write love poems to his girlfriend and, and poems about, you know, uh, uh, animals that he saw out in the desert or whatever, you know. And, um, but he said, uh, uh, poetry is to keep the language from going insane. <laughs> and, you know, uh, exhibit A has something to do with, you know, the language going insane or bad language or, you know, a lot of bad government has to do with bad language. So uh, um, we do sort of, uh, uh, poets, I think, have to rise to that occasion from time to time.